Super quick video on latency, um, server-based latency, and like the distance it takes, or the distance between the user, me, and the actual server. I've been working on um, a bunch of little kind of projects. Um, this is the training uh, software I've written for my course, Terminal Training. And when I uh, load the page up for the first time, I've got an express-based server at the back end serving all the content. Um, I've got React in the client side. Um, and the way it works is that you get the markup coming down the wire, uh, you load the main bundle, and then it loads a token, which gives the user access to uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the content. The problem is latency. And the problem here, if you look at this, I've got like 100 milliseconds to download the content, but 400 milliseconds on an empty cache for uh, uh, the server to even respond. And that 400 milliseconds it's going to be 400 milliseconds regardless of whether or not I've got a hot cache or an empty cache because it takes 400 milliseconds for the first byte to come back from the server even if it's a uh, like a 304 a response to a 304 or a, a 304 header so the browser can't start parsing any of the script tags until it has that first bit of markup and if it takes 400 milliseconds to get the first uh, to get the markup it's going to take 400 milliseconds to get the JavaScript. So this is the JavaScript here. You can see the time to first byte, 450 milliseconds. Regardless of the fact that it's 350 seconds come down the wire, that's just to get the JavaScript. And like we've got 800 milliseconds here just, just to get the JavaScript that then has to go off and get a token. And my token in this case is taking a, a full second to come back. So it's going to take a minimum of uh, what, 1800 milliseconds just to make my application work. Forget about client side optimization, service workers, anything like that. That first load is going to take that long. If we get rid of the, uh, if we use a hot cache and refresh, look at the same thing again. You can see, you know, the actual downloads are, well, downloads are quick because they're three or fours, but you can see still half a second worth of uh, latency, another half second of latency on uh, the JavaScript another half second on the token, which means that the whole application still will never be ready before 150, uh, one and a half seconds. And one and a half seconds is way, way too slow. Um, it should be loading and ready in like 200, maybe 500 milliseconds, the whole thing. Um, the first thing that shouts out at me here is use a CDN. All of this stuff should be on a CDN. It should be physically closer to my users. Um, you know, like I said, 500 milliseconds is not okay. Now, the part of the problem here is that I'm in the UK and these servers are in the US. It's literally taking that half second to get back across the world to me. Um, and I've been looking at geo distributed servers, um, Route 53's uh, latency based uh, DNS, and it works really well. I can get a response down to uh, 20, millisec 20, millise 20 milliseconds for a, an API response um, with live data, which is great. Um, but this is not great. This is really bad. Um, yeah, it was just very pronounced and I wanted to share it with the world. Just be kind of wary of how like latency can have a direct impact on that, that earliest time that you can possibly execute.